Hi there, Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, June is really a very powerful month. At the same time, it can be very slow, complicated, possibly, and even frustrating for some people. And for you guys, let's see what's really gonna be going on for you in terms of your love life and relationships for the month of june so again astrology wise we do have a lot of retrogrades going on so when we do have a lot of retrograde planets in the sky um, some people might find it very frustrating because it can trigger a lot of miscommunication relationship problems are definitely going to be the first one to be affected by this energy and it's not a surprise that we do have a lot of conflicting energies going on here which we are going to talk about one by one as we go on now i just want to you know give you guys a refresher a bit that when we do have a lot of retrograde planets especially when venus is in retrograde and mercury is about to go retrograde at the middle of the month this might seem as if you know the things that are moving forward in your life especially in your relationships just when you think are that thing that the situation is actually moving forward you will notice that things are not what they truly seem you know problems occur um, and challenging situation arises definitely they're not here to confuse us alone but they're here for us to really see things on a deeper level to make us be very sure of the decisions that we we make or about to make in life so it's time for reconsideration now with a lot of our leo friends again this reading goes for those who have their sun moon and rising sign in the sign of leo or if you have your partner or you yourself have a very strong leo energy in your chart and then this reading might just resonate with you as well so the first card that we have over here is the two of cups so this is all about relationships the connection contract and all of those kinds of things foundation of a relationship is definitely in the picture over here and it's being crossed over by the three of swords so the three of swords is more or less about disappointment problems um, things that are frustrating sometimes breaking up kind of um, energy it can also be something to do with um, heartbreaking scenario or feeling sad as a whole so immediately we we can see over here that this is about a relationship issue that is probably making you depressed or feeling down a bit or maybe you are in a challenging relationship issue at this time maybe it has been happening for quite a while now and for some of you guys maybe you are noticing that the month of june is not really the time for so much love making you know it's really more of a challenging phase when it comes to relationship and love as a whole so some of you might be already feeling empty and confused and all of that even though in the recent past we we do have here the devil card and the devil card is you know um it's not really very negative i don't see the devil card as a very negative card but it can signify that you have this strong pull of attraction with someone in particular in your life you know you had an experience or a sudden meeting with someone whom you thought that you know is your mr or miss right or someone that you will call a soulmate you know you have a strong feelings with a certain person in your life could be a man could be a woman and yeah you have this thought that maybe this person is the one and maybe that person is the one <laughs> itself you know i mean we'll never know because this is a general reading but um what we are being shown here is that you have this perfect um idea or ideal person in your life 
whom has entered your life recently and you're very drawn to them it's just that at this time or maybe during the course of the month of june something is disappointing you something is very conflicting in that energy and this is creating a lot of confusion we do have the seven spades here along with the clouds energy which is all about confusion needing clarity over a situation but we do have the hierophant card at the top of the reading really telling us about you know there is lesson into all of this and it could be that you are becoming serious when it comes to love and this is all just uh, a part of a challenge all at the same time though it could be a, re a really serious time for reflection for many of you guys because we do have the death card and the strength card here telling us that you know there is a need for you to really persevere and overcome certain situations and to really maybe control your anger control whatever feelings that you're having at this time we do have the nine swords over here representing your own energy as well with the queen of spades in reverse talking about love so there could be you know it could be just the energy around the sky or there could just be some form of disappointment or you know feeling sad um your emotions is definitely on haywire during this time and you know something something feels amiss basically is what being shown here even though that you know something something is really moving forward but at the same time you feel that something is not right or you're just experiencing some difficulties when it comes to relationships overall that kind of thing maybe you are becoming anxious you are becoming very agitated and all of that and that could be creating some form of conflict and problem in the relationship itself that is definitely a possibility but it doesn't mean that the relationship itself has a problem it's just that you are becoming overly sensitive and overly anxious and you know we when a leo person becomes anxious you know it's like it's over the top it is like when they are excited and happy they are very very excited and happy and it's very obvious to them it's just that when they're sad and feeling disappointed it's like you know it's like all hell break loose kind of a feeling and energy so what we're seeing here is that at the end of the day there is much inspiration into all of this there is a sense of wishing being hopeful all of those kinds of stuff i kind of feel that a lot of you guys are hoping for some form of event or progress or maybe you're hoping for someone to do something towards you or to feel something towards you and whether they doing that or not is a definitely a different um set up in a different scenario into the, all of this it's just that you know i i just kind of feel that you are with someone um you're meant to cross your life with and you're feeling the challenges that has been going on between the two of you for the month of june but you do have this a three of wands as, it, as the outcome card of the reading along with the eight of hearts and the consolation card so this is like a situation wherein you know nothing is really set in stone and there is still some future endeavor that you can hope to manifest in your life it could be a progress of the relationship or you know it's just it's just when there are miscommunication and challenges but this is going to make the relationship ever so stronger you know it's like it's just part of the process yes there are confusion there are frustrating moments but it doesn't mean that you know it's the end of the line this could be just a part of a scenario that the two of you might need to overcome as a whole at the same time this could also be manifesting in a way wherein maybe you're thinking about a relationship that you once lost or you know a relationship that is not satisfying you you're thinking about the past you know we do have a, re a lot of retrograde energy and it can definitely manifest as thinking about the past all of your past experiences when it comes to love and there is still an energy of being hopeful of you know 
maybe having wishful thinking thoughts of recreating a relationship or to waiting for someone looking forward to meeting someone to seeing someone or wishing someone to be in your life again there's a lot of you know energy of wishing and praying all of those kinds of things at the same time you know i would say that because of your energies being haywire sometimes i don't know if that you are just you know being being swayed by the energies at this time you know you have to make sure that you are really being serious of what you're feeling and the decisions that you make are you know something that you can stand by through the end of times you know you're not just gonna make a decision because you feel like it during this time and then later you change your mind that is just gonna create some form of disturbance and uh, more complicated issues later on so this is a time for you that you know to really notice the things that you have not noticed before and to really sink in the feelings and emotions that maybe you have ignored uh, things you never saw whether it's positive or negative it's all going to be shown to you during the month of june and from that it you will you know you will definitely know what to look forward to in the future what you should do in the future whether to pursue a relationship to get back with someone or to just um say goodbye and you know find someone else because the three of wands is a really a waiting card and it's also a card of of seeing the future taking a look on what's out there you know working on opportunities basically all those kinds of things but since we do have the eight of hearts along with this tree of wands energy i kind of feel that you know this is about something that has to do with harmony some form of mutual um receptivity kind of thing might be going on to the surface so maybe you are far away from your lover or maybe you are in a long distance relationship you are hoping for some form of mutual give and take between a relation you and your partner in terms of relationship all those kinds of things also if there are emotions here that is not balanced this is a time for you to rebalance that and to you know inhale and exhale make sure that you're not overacting all those kinds of things you want nothing more than to feel love to love and feel love and be happy in love during this time relationship is definitely in your mind and you want it to be happy more than ever of course some form of true love is what is um crossing over your mind recently as well you do have the jupiter in the second house in the sign of leo with our astro dice so the second house has a lot to do with our own energy our own um, feelings as well and our own desires whether they are superficial uh, truthful desire materialistic desire or or anything the second house has a lot to do with our excess as well the same time with the sixth house so um, you know this could be with situations that you are already in as well there and let's not forget that jupiter right now is also in retrograde so there's just a lot of things that we need to consider and before we dive deep into a new relationship or to make a relationship be more committed uh, we have to think about a lot of things do i really want this relationship am i happy in this relationship or am i just becoming really stressed you know at the same time you have to take notice what are the things that you are doing that is wrong in the relationship as well because definitely change is also in the picture there is some form of change that you need to work on 
for many of you you might find that some form of relationship in your life is becoming tricky it's becoming confusing and you might need to make a decision on what to do in that relationship should you guys continue on is there some form of change that needs to be done what kind of change needs to be happening there some form of transformation in relationship is definitely in the picture for a lot of you guys leo out there so um yeah this is my reading for you guys i do hope that you find it very insightful and i hope that it gives you clarity one way or another again if you do want a more detailed and personal reading for you specifically for your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my web my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month